What's up, YouTube? I'm Zach here with Bus Voyage, and today we're talking about nine reasons why you should be converting a school bus. All right, now before we hop in, you might notice that things are a little bit different. And the first reason is the desk that used to be in my room is now in my bus. <laughs> so since I've made a video last, um, a lot has changed. I've actually loaded everything I own into my bus and I drove it about 900 miles from Utah to Phoenix. And so the ultimate goal is that I'm going to live with my parents for a couple months while I finish building the bus until I can live in it full time. But for a week or two, I'm actually living in the bus right now just to get a feel for it. Now, obviously it's not quite what it's going to be because I don't have any of the amenities and it's not done being built yet, but it's, a, it's an interesting experience so far. So we're gonna keep it going for another week or two. All right, so let's jump into the video. So as I mentioned, today we are talking about nine reasons why you should be converting a mini school bus. All right, number one. So the first reason why you should be converting a mini school bus is because you are going to learn so much along the way. And when I say learn so much, I mean so many amazing skills that can be so useful in so many other parts of your lives. So just to name a couple, you're gonna learn plumbing, you're gonna learn electrical, you're gonna learn woodworking skills, you're gonna learn general construction skills. You're gonna learn how to put in insulation. If you ever need to make repairs to your home in the future, you have that knowledge. Even if you just wanna become more handy around the house, whether it be fixing your car, fixing, you know, fixing the broken table, you're gonna learn all the skills necessary to do those things, which is such a cool bonus in my mind because this wasn't even the reason I did it, but it's a great add-on. All right, number two. All right, the second reason is because you are going to save so much money on rent and electricity. Now, you might be thinking, well, yeah, but first I have to spend a ton of money up front to do that. Okay, well, that's a valid point. However, in the long term, you're actually, you know, if you live in this for long enough, you're probably gonna save a lot more money than you would have spent. For myself, I was spending $400 a month on rent prior to living in the school bus. Now, that's actually a pretty good deal. However, after building this bus, I will never have to pay rent like that again. Now, even if you're only paying $400 a month in rent, that turns into $4,800 per year. That's a lot of money. You're basically saving five grand a year just in rent every year you live in a school bus. On top of that, I had months where I was sometimes paying over $100 a month for electricity, and that seems pretty crazy to me. Now, let's say you're averaging $50 a month electricity, which is probably more reasonable, but even then, you're looking at saving $600 a year in electricity by living in a bus, because you'll be going on solar. So, another big benefit in my mind. And that brings us to point number three, which is that it actually can be affordable. Now, in the last point I said that, you know, the price of building the bus is going to take away from the savings. And although that's true, a lot of people think that building a bus is something that's unattainable. It's so expensive that how could I ever do that? Well, it can be expensive if you want to put a lot of money into it, but there are also a lot of really cheap ways to build a bus. We were actually thinking about making a video on how you can save money building a bus. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and drop a comment below and uh, maybe we'll get to making that before long here. Anyways, it might seem super expensive, but you can buy a school bus for as cheap as five grand. There tends to be a little bit more of a market for the short ones, but if you're willing to go for a large school bus, well now it'll probably be even cheaper. So you can probably find one for as cheap as two or three grand if you go for a long one and maybe five or six grand if you're going for a short one. For, for myself, I didn't want to spend the extra money, but when it came down to it, a long one was just too big. It's awkward, it's hard to drive, it's, and it's hard to park in a standard parking spot. So I decided that for a few extra thousand dollars, a short one was the right move for me. Now $5,000 isn't really bad when you compare it to the vans. A lot of vans, whether you're looking at a Mercedes or a Ford, will often go for 10, 15, 20,000 dollars, and that's for a used one. That's for a used one with decent mileage, you know, maybe 150,000. Now, I got this thing for 7,000 dollars, and it only had 130,000 miles on it. That's a way better deal than you're gonna find on Sprinter vans. On top of that, building it out, you can do it expensive or you can do it cheap. If you wanna keep it cheap, you can find materials for altogether maybe a few thousand dollars and come out with a fully converted van for potentially under eight or nine thousand dollars altogether. Now, that could still be a lot of money for some people, but if you save up for a couple years, it could save you a lot in the long term. The fourth reason that you should be converting a school bus is so that you can travel and explore the world. Uh, a school bus is such a good way to do that because 
If you live in the US or Europe or really anywhere, it allows you to just go, just live. You can continue living your life. You can continue having a job, being productive and having the amenities you want, but you have so much more time to just see the world. You know, before living my boss, I love traveling, but I was always trying to find a week here, two weeks there when I could get out and just escape. Now with the bus, I don't feel like I need to escape. I feel like I can just live in the bus, go where I want to go and integrate both my personal work life into my travels and my exploration. So for me, that was probably the biggest benefit. And that brings us to number five. Now, the fifth reason why you should be converting a mini school bus is because you are going to meet so many cool people along the way. Now I'm still converting it, but I'm living in it temporarily. And even in the short time I've been here, I've had so many cool people come up and just be like, whoa, that's so cool. And, and all of a sudden I'm making a new friend. I was at a bar last week and the guys inside were like, holy shit, did you just drive up in a school bus? So it's just a great conversation starter. And I feel like when you do interesting things in the world, other interesting people will come up to you and just, I don't know, I feel like it's a great way just to meet unique people. So the sixth reason that you should be converting a mini school bus is because you can always have perfect weather. Now, I grew up in Illinois where it was always too cold in the winters. And now I live in Arizona where it's always too hot in the summers. And so for most of my life, there's always been a season where it's at least annoying. You know, I, I can get through it. It's not the end of the world, but nobody likes going out in five degree weather. And so the cool thing with the bus is I never have to be anywhere that has weather I don't like. I figure in the summers, I'll live up north, maybe the Midwest, maybe the East Coast, maybe even up in Alaska. And for the winters, I'll come down here to Arizona or maybe California and just experience what's going on down here. Not have to worry about the, the crazy sun or the crazy cold, just enjoy my life in perfect weather. Number seven is increased job opportunity. Now, this one might throw you off at first. You might be thinking, well, if I'm living in a bus and I'm traveling, how am I supposed to hold down a job? Unless I'm lucky enough to have a remote job. Well, that's true. You know, it can be hard to travel and hold down a job in one place. But the cool thing about living in a bus is, although it gives you the opportunity to travel, you don't actually have to travel. I mean, you could totally just convert a bus and then maybe in the same town you're living in or another town that you're interested in, you find a place to park it long term and you live there for a while. And doing that, it opens up the job market in pretty much every city. You can go anywhere that has a great job market, settle down for a little bit there, make some money. Maybe one summer you decide that you're struggling to find work and you want to go to Alaska and get a job in the tourism industry. That's totally doable. There's tons of jobs up there every summer that are always looking for work for workers. And living in a bus, it makes it super easy to go up there, live there for six months, make great money, and then maybe go somewhere else and find another job where there's a need for it there. However, no matter what you choose to do, you have access to any job market practically in the whole world. All right, the eighth reason that you should be converting a mini school bus is because it will give you plenty of room for amenities. Now, once again, this might sound a little bit backwards because it's just over 100 square feet. However, what I'm comparing this to is maybe a van conversion. Van conversions, although almost as big, don't quite pack as much room as a school bus. Especially one like this, it's got super straight walls, which a lot of the vans don't have. A lot of the vans, the walls curve in towards the top, which makes it really hard to just live in comfortably and have as much room for shelving and storage. And so with a bus this size, even though it's a little over 100 square feet, I'm, I'm planning on building in a large bed, a shower, a toilet, a kitchen with a sink, refrigerator, um, I'm gonna have a microwave, I'll have, I'll have a freezer, um, I'll have two couches and a table, you know, and so I found a lot of really good ways just to maximize space. And so even though it's a tiny amount of space, I'm able to have pretty much everything I would have in a normal house. The only thing that I really would have liked to have, but I'm not able to, is a washing and drying machine. However, at the end of the day, that's probably one of the lesser important of the appliances that I use in a, in a normal week. And there's laundromats everywhere. I can always do that. Or if I'm out in nature, you know, I can do it the old fashioned way with a bucket and water, you know, string it up on a clothesline. So there are options for that. But you know, the, the amenities that I would really want, like a shower, a toilet, a sink, I'm gonna have all of that. So that takes away a lot of the hesitance that I think a lot of people have. 
All right, and number nine, the final reason that you should be converting a school bus into a tiny home is for the nature. Now, this is one that I really love. Um, you know, there have been studies that have come out that have talked about how when people are close to nature, it really helps their mental state. It can be really positive. And I think that's so powerful. However, like most people, I need to be close to a city. I need access to a lot of resources and amenities, you know, such as a job, such as friends, such as education. And so what the bus allows me to do is I can live in the city and then I can go out to nature and I can go out there and I can stay there for a day, a week, a month, a few months, however long I want. And I don't have to worry about packing a tent. And you know, not that I don't want to do that because sometimes I love packing a tent and doing that as well. But it just makes it so easy and so simple to go spend some time in nature, relax, and just enjoy the outdoors. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for new videos every Thursday. And if you want to learn more about the bus conversion process, or you just enjoy watching us do it, feel free to watch some more of our videos over here or over here. <laughs> that felt pretty good.